Hello everyone, my name is Emmeline Long and I am currently a first year graduate student in the Animal Science Department here at Cornell University. For those of you who have been attending the ESRI conference for several years, you may remember that I was a speaker at the 2006 uh, plenary session representing National 4-H. I want to take a few minutes to update you on where I've been and where I am now and how both 4-H and ESRI have influenced my interests and my career decisions. I first learned about geospatial sciences through 4-H in early high school. I began at the county level where I was involved with the geospatial just in my county and through my uh, county fair. I had the opportunity to learn about precision agriculture through something that we called the Agritarium. This was an inflatable black ball, kind of like a planetarium, and I had to give presentations to fairgoers demonstrating how precision agriculture worked. We had black lights, satellites on the ceiling, and a demonstration using tra small toy tractors on the floor. And this is where I first learned about precision agriculture, and really where my interest in that area first began. I then became involved on the state level through the New York State 4-H Geospatial Leadership Committee. I had the opportunity to give workshops to other 4-Hers from across the state through leadership retreats as well as through the state fair. Then in 2006, I was asked to rep represent National 4-H at the ESRI plenary session where I had the opportunity to talk to all of you about what 4-H is doing with geospatial sciences at the national level. Through my attendance at both that conference, as well as in 2007, I learned more about how huge the world of geospatial sciences is, and my interests continued to grow. I wanted to major in either geospatial sciences or precision agriculture in college, but couldn't find a, a program that really interests me, as well as included the interests of agriculture in general. So I decided to major in agricultural sciences and took as many classes in GIS and remote sensing that I could. Finally, during senior year, I had the opportunity to participate in a research project and continue graduate work at Cornell doing a research project on forage yield monitoring on dairy farms in New York State. Forage yield monitors are a new concept, unlike grain yield monitors, and we want to try to evaluate the accuracy of this new equipment and also educate dairy farmers on how this new geospatial equipment can be used to manage nutrients on their farms. I spent the last year collecting yield monitor and geospatial data on dairy farms throughout New York State, have been mapping it, and have begun the analysis process to help farmers make better informed, better informed decisions on nutrient management. I also had the opportunity last summer to do an internship with a small company in Rochester, New York called Agronetics. This is a new company focusing just in precision agriculture and I spent the summer meeting with farmers and mapping geospatial data related to planting of corn and soybeans. It's really interesting for me to see how my, my interests have come full circle from starting in 4-H in high school, kind of dwindling off in, in uh, college and now beginning to blossom again in graduate school. And for me, I know that when I graduate college a year from now, that it won't be a matter of where will I find a career, but which career will I choose. Because the, the areas of precision agriculture and geospatial sciences are blossoming, and careers are popping up in areas that didn't exist even five years ago when I first became interested in this area. So I just want to say thank you to both 4-H and ESRI to, for providing me with all of the opportunities over the last years and helping me to develop my interests as they are today. Thank you.